Okay guys, uh, you know, I just realized that my phone is, I mean, it's okay for taking video. So I should be taking more videos. <laughs> so um, I ended up doing a ton of water changes today. Feels really good. Set up some new pairs. Um, it's dark, unfortunately, so it's hard to see. But uh, everyone has nice partial water changes going on. Now the tricky ones are my licorice gouramis, and I'm still figuring out how to keep them well. I just found a ton of Linky Eye Fry in here. I wasn't sure where they went, um, but whenever I was changing the water, I dug around and I found them. So it's pretty cool. I'm not sure how many there are because they're still minuscule, um, but they're definitely growing. And uh, here, <laughs> get up. So this is my Linky Eye Fry my linky eye pair. They spawned again, but I wasn't quick enough to pull them out. And I think they ate their fry again. Unfortunately, one of my male Tweety Eye died. Um, however, there is one fry from a surprise spawn. And uh, the one fry is in here with his mom. So we'll see what happens. And then I have one male and one female in here. The male is younger than the female but I'm hoping they start to spawn soon. Okay, so the only really tricky ones to water change for me are the licorice gouramis. You can see that I pulled out water. I wasn't very even and exact, but anyway, I pulled out some water. And then because these guys are so sensitive and because their water requirements are so distinct from my other fish, what I do is I, um, age the water overnight so normally I don't care I just like change the water and add some leaves in the jars because these guys are super super hardy but these guys I actually take the time to age it overnight so this is how I age it just got a bucket I change out five gallons just from all of these I try to make it even obviously I didn't um, <laughs> so I have about five gallons in here I have a heater, so it brings it up to 80 degrees, which is what I keep my licorice grommies at. I add torn up uh, Indian almond leaves, two, about two per five gallons. And then I have an air stone going to kind of help circulate it. And then I'll just leave it in here uh, overnight. In the morning, I'll check just the color. And then um, if it finally, when it matches the tanks, then I'll put it in. So I have a pH meter, but I've been a little um, lazy about getting distilled water um, in order to calibrate it and wash it, but I will be doing that soon. So, um, and I do check the TDS, total dissolved solids, and make sure that it's as low as possible. San Francisco water is incredibly soft out of the tap. I'm super, super lucky. And um, just adding in Indian almond leaves really reduces the pH on its own. It, I tested it, it has basically zero KH and zero GH. I used to steal rainwater from my landlord, but since I moved, I have no landlord to steal from. <laughs> and um, I'm trying to collect rainwater on the fire escape, but San Francisco is of course in a drought and I haven't been that successful. So they've been doing just fine in tap, which is a relief and um, just gotta keep going with these guys.